Hello guys, welcome back to Leo's Animal Planet. Happy New Year 2023. Today on Leo's Animal Planet, we're going to be looking at animal poo. Each day in the world, the animal kingdom produces the same amount of dung as the water pouring in the Victoria Falls. Animal poop is essential in fertilising the soil, fighting climate change and dispersing seeds. Fossilised poop is called coprolite. Did you know Mary Alling and William Buckland discovered coprolite in the 19th century? Mary Alling was an amazing woman in 1849 from Lyme Regis. She found fossils. She was the first person to find fossils, but people said that they found them, which was not right, taking the spotlight away from her, simply because of her gender, because she was a woman. And that is just not fair at all. So keep everybody happy and everyone should be treated equally. I actually have a fossilised poo which is from an ancient sea turtle uh, which goes about five million, 5 million years back. And in fact, they invented coprology, the science behind animal waste. Animal cropology is very important. Coprology is essential for seeing what animals eat, um, to check if there's any potential diseases, uh, and great for animals, to protect them and conserve them. The Nepal Tiger Project collects wild tiger poo and checks what they've been eating and how to keep them alive. There are many words to describe animal poop. For cows, we call them pats. For bats and birds, we call them guano. For otters, we call them sprite. Insect poo is called frass. Word poop is called castings. Rats, the raisins. Hares, crottles. Fox, billiards. Flies, specks. Deers, fumets. Walk, slices. This have a look at some funny facts about animal poo. Wombat poo is square. Each day, uh, wombats produce 80 to 100 pellet, square pellets a day. They dip, deposit them around their territory to mark their territory. But why is it square? So it's because they eat a lot of fibre, like grass and roots. So and they have a very slow digestive system. So that means that when they poo, it comes out quite dry. So uh, it comes out in like squares or rectangles. So they mark their poo around their territory so people know it's their territory so they won't come in. Uh, we've got another fact and it is about the white-footed swatted lemur. This type of lemur has collective toilet systems. <laughs> Scientists were wondering why they have public toilets. And it's to keep in touch with their distant relatives like, hello, using their poo in the toilet. So when they go to their toilet, they can keep in touch with their distant relatives. Lemurs aren't only the only critters to have group toilets public toilets, I mean. Guanacos in South America, badgers, howler monkeys, bear cats, hyenas, and ocelots also do it. The lemurs are coprophagous. Now do you know what that means? Coprophagia is when animals eat their own food so they can get all the nutrients out of it. Nice. Rabbits do it. Capybaras, mice, guinea pigs, koala, hippos, hedgehogs. The sloths pooping is actually very dangerous more than us, we just go into the bathroom. They are very vulnerable when they come off trees because they could get start getting eaten by like jaguar snakes. Scientists are not very sure why uh, sloths go down from the trees to poo when actually they're more vulnerable there. Maybe they don't know that. As predators, scientists think it's a symbiotic relationship with 
the algae on their back and the moths, etc. Let's look at another proof fact the turkey vultures. Turkey vultures and other vultures who on their legs to moisturise their skin and to keep cool. So the poo on their legs also acts like an antibacterial gel. So that means that the, the poo cleans their legs because vultures, they, talk, they go on a lot of rotten carcasses and start eating them. So they, they poo on their legs to make sure the so to make sure that there's not many germs on them. And now another fact, the chin snap penguin. Chin snap penguins are used to like nesting and looking after their babies and their eggs. So they can't really go away to poo when they're bursting. <laughs> they kind of have like little rockets that get sent far away from the nest so they don't have to leave their nest. It's like, it's like projectile poop. <laughs> okay, Sir Penguin, release the rocket poops. Release projectile poops. <laughs> yes, let the poo army begin. Oh my God, look at that one. He created a star pattern around the nest. Unfortunately, when they're looking after their nests, and they use their projectile poops. Uh, it might go on somebody else. And this can also be seen from space, which is so cool. Did you know that satellites can actually find out the penguin population by looking at the traces that they leave behind? Uh, people who work at NASA are learning more and more about penguins because of their poo. That's how amazing poo is in the animal kingdom. So if, for example, if their poo is pink, then they'd be having a diet of rich krill. While if their food is, if their poo is white, then they'd be having a diet of rich fish. Penguin poop in the 19th century was like absolute gold. Like everybody liked it, and because in and they sold it for like so much money, it was so expensive because you use penguin poop in gunpowder and. Uh, Fertilizer. Have you wondered where sand comes from? Fish poo. Parrotfish, they eat algae, coral, and when they're swimming along in the ocean, they create sand and poop it out. Each parrotfish creates 2,000 pounds of sand a year which is insane uh hippo poo actually feeds fish and so nothing goes to waste in the animal kingdom loads of birds eat seeds and disperse them into the wild did you know seeds uh, actually go inside and spoil heat and uh, have a higher chance to germinate when it comes out life in the ocean needs nutrients just like in your garden waves oh my god they're so amazing they are the savior of the world blue whales valine whales humpback whales all eat krill loads and loads of krill each day and fish and plankton and these are full of iron and nitrogen and whales act like gigantic fertilizers when they're on the toilet and they reposit iron and nitrogen back in the ocean more whales more poo more plankton more oceanic life whales act like a carbon sink which take lots and lots of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and so whale poop might be one of the best methods to fight climate change it absorbs the, a third of the carbon in the atmosphere. More than huge forests, even more than the Amazon. And this is why killing whales is such a tragedy. Let's save these amazing animals called whales. We totally need more whales. So why is the planet not covered in poop? Well, it's all because of dung beetles. They collect poo and deep underground and put it under there. They are capable of burrowing 
250 times their own body weight in the ground. There are over 7,000 species of dung beetles around the world, other than Antarctica. Did you know that elephant poop can actually attract 4,000 dung beetles in less than 50 minutes, which is just mind blowing. Mind exploding, mind dung exploding. Some of them, uh, they have different duties like rollers, dwellers, tubers, YouTubers. It's actually a plant in South America that creates seeds that look like dung. So those dung beetles roll it, bury it into the ground, and then it will become a plant. Basically, they burrow the poo near the plant's roots and then the, it will help the plant and the roots get to feed on the dung. Dung beetles are so, so important to the farming industry. Our farming is mainly about, uh, mainly about beef and meat and stuff. While actually it creates lots of greenhouse emissions. Dung beetles can even help us fight global warming. They reduce the greenhouse emissions associated with farming and cow poo. Dung beetles actually help a lot with that. Over 360 million pounds in the UK. You do know that actually when farmers give medicine to like cows and stuff, when they poo, dung beetles will eat it, or any other insect will eat it, and they would die because there was some artificial and because it's toxic to them. It could kill up to 20,000 insects, which is so bad. And also, dung beetles will feed birds and these birds will feed bigger animals so they're part of the food chain as well which is very important you know people eat these tea for coffee beans and then once they poop it out they take the coffee beans out and then put it in coffee and apparently it's like a luxury product and people go in and like oh this is the best coffee in the world but it's so cool to serve it and also animals, animal poop disperse seeds. So if we see rhinos disappear, there'd be a lot, lot, lot less vegetation. There also means less insects and less butterflies. Some of these insects and butterflies feed on, on rhino poop. So if we lose these animals, we are losing the ecosystems that is actually awesome and pretty beautiful. It provides good soil, removes carbon from the atmosphere, which is so cool. Disperse seeds, which is help essential to our planet and our food, and help us fight climate change. And there's one thing we should learn. Nothing is wasted in the animal kingdom. Nothing whatsoever, not even waste. We can learn a lot from it when we are not able to manage our sewage system properly and we are polluting our own seas and rivers with our own poo. For the people who don't know, Chris Packham has created a new calendar all about poo with some awesome facts inside it. I would also like to suggest Poop Bingo which has incredible facts on the subject. If you didn't know, we also bought this uh, Pop Trunks game called Plop Trunks. I recommend checking it out. It's an awesome Pop Trunks, uh, Plop, Pop Trunks game, Top Trunks game, but also a very spot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to hit that like button, um, hit that subscribe button. It would be so amazing if we could hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year please do it it will help my channel out a lot and it will spread the message around and around also meant to share the um the uh the video on social media so the message can be spread around more 
and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.